This is Poland Daily. Business. My name is Alexander Wierzyński. Donald Trump is back on political trail in America. At least um, he met with um, uh, inhabitants of Florida last week, and he said something about the Nord Stream 2. That he stopped it, and the other guys want to allow it to be completed. Uh, Edmund Janiger. Uh, President of the International Security Forum is our guest. So welcome to the show. Good to be with you. Uh, this, the words about Nord Stream 2 were just slapped uh, by President. It was just, uh, it just mentioned it on purpose. Uh, and to what degree the Nord Stream 2 um, U turn made by Biden administration is a political issue in the United States? Well, President Trump has been uh, becoming more and more active, more and more visible publicly uh, since he's left the, the White House once again. He's, he was in Texas, he was in Florida um, with visits, and uh, he had, as you mentioned, he did discuss Nord Stream 2. He didn't mention that. And uh, there seems to be an effort to undo the work of President Trump in certain realms um, and certainly um, stopping Nord Stream 2. Uh, certainly, the current administration is not, uh, in terms of the executive branch, is not uh, uh, stopping Nord Stream 2, um, the Congress yet. Yeah, but, the other but hand, let us ask another question. Have you seen that discussion in the media? Like, I don't know, the, the Biden is turning, uh, letting Putin and uh, Berlin finish the. Uh, Nord Stream 2, this is a key project for Putin. Let, let's not, let's have no mistake about it. This is the key project to subdue the uh, Central and Eastern Europe, to subdue the Ukraine, which will be stripped of this about $2 billion uh, of the yearly income from the uh, transit of the natural gas. So, and this will also allow Russians to uh, provide more bold politics in the East, because uh, there will be no one um, who will hurt their financial interest in terms of Nord Stream 2. It's like everyone understands this. In, in well, Eastern Europe, President Zelensky is speaking about that openly. So to what degree this is reflected in the American life, in the public uh, discussion? Well, certainly it's becoming an important issue because there is much Ukraine diaspora, there is much Polish diaspora in uh, certain districts, in certain congressional districts, in certain states. And these are obviously voters who can change the outcome of elections. Um, some attribute, to, for example, President Trump's uh, first victory to the Polish vote in certain states. Um, and, uh, and certainly for congressional races, it plays a big role. And so you will see members of Congress, especially those who are concerned about the, the relationship with uh, Europe, but also have a, a large Polish diaspora, a large Ukraine diaspora, other large Central and Eastern European diasporas taking a firm stance against Nord Stream 2. So while it is a hot button issue per se in, in the mainstream media, it is discussed um, because of these uh, diasporas and the more these diasporas act, um, the more it gets discussed. So that's what, that's what we need to make sure obviously the diasporas um, that are concerned, obviously, take the necessary mm -hmm. steps. The ne next election in the United States are next year, basically, but uh, Donald Trump is active right now. Um, does he work toward uh, taking over the Republican Party? Well, I think at this point he is the face of the Republican Party. He was uh, just in uh, Texas viewing the border with Governor Abbott. Um, and I think um, he certainly has a good chance. So there's a speculation that he will run for the United States Congress. It's not very likely in my view, but again, it has happened. Presidents in the past have run and succeeded in winning a seat in the U.S. Congress. Uh, but certainly, I don't think that will, to me it doesn't appear to happen, but certainly he will have a big uh, voice in endorsing candidates and supporting candidates for office. As far as I can tell, uh, Donald Trump wants to support uh, or endorse uh, the candidates for uh, Congress and senators among those Republicans who support Donald Trump. Will this mean that uh, the party will be 
uh, change, the, the, the split in the Republicans between the rhinos and real Republicans will be diminished because the rhinos will naturally phase out. Well, certainly, uh, President Trump will have a major role both raising money for candidates, uh, endorsing candidates in primaries, um, those candidates who uh, do not say support him or in certain districts are less likely to win their primaries and may face challengers, if even incumbents, may, may face stiff challenges um, within those elections. And certainly, uh, President Trump is, is a leading voice in the Republican Party. He's presumably the leader of the party as the immediate past president. Um, and he's active uh, across the country. He was just in Texas, as I mentioned. Um, he was also uh, been holding rallies in other places and meetings with uh, congressional leaders. Uh, what are the sentiments among the uh, Polish Americans? Can you tell that uh, after the Donald Trump's uh, term, uh, the, the Polish Americans are more in favor of Republicans? Is that shifting? Because we know that the Polish Americans or ethnic uh, Europeans were uh, inclining towards Democrats recently. Yeah, that's true. Although we do have to keep in mind that uh, in the past election, President Trump won uh, in largely, some would attribute his victory largely to the Polish vote in some key states. But, uh, but, but certainly, um, it, there is a diversity of opinion among uh, all constituencies, including uh, Polish Americans and Americans of European ancestry. Uh, but I think overall, Polish Americans uh, favor Republicans, and historically it's been different, of course, but nowadays I believe, as least from data I've seen, they favor uh, Republicans in, in, most, in most cases. This is a very significant change, and we'll see how it will develop. Edmund Janiger, president of the uh, International Security Forum organization, was our guest, sir. Thank you very much for this conversation. Great being here. And that was Thanks. it for Poland Daily Business tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, same time.